Hey guys, in today's video, we will be talking about Samantha Raventhal's brand Ari. I have not been this excited for a launch and I don't know how long. Like everything, every, all the brands launching are basically just launching palettes and brow stuff and lips. I'm just like, I want something different. And she brought different, all right. My lips are so chapped. It don't make no sense. But Samantha kindly sent over a PR box which I have been watching her since I started. Like I fell in love when she used to post those eye photos. I found her and I fell in love. And then I started watching her and I can listen to her literally talk all day. I don't care what she's talking about. I can listen to her talk. And I absolutely was inspired by her to start. It was her and Nikki tutorials I watched all the time when I first started. Still to this day, I watch them all the time. I just love how real Sam is. So girl, keep being real. So we're going to get into Auric today and everything about it. I will link her video up here and down below so she can tell you everything herself out of her mouth. But I'm going to be relaying some of the information that I learned from her to you. So if you're interested in that, keep on watching. And yeah, let's just get into the video. But first, subscribe at the button down below and make sure you like this video at any point in the video that you like it. And make sure you turn the notification bell on so you don't miss another video. All right. Okay. Okay. So the cards fell out. PR pack package like this. It did get a little ripped in shipping, but everything was perfectly fine. And it comes in like this. And I love that she put this in there and she put everything in there. Like I was like, I wonder if it's going to be like information in here. And I was really appreciative that everything is, there's product cards. There's this information right here. And I just, I just it's so minimalistic, but this packaging is like the, the gold veining. I always get gold veining in my nails. And um, I'm like a little bit obsessed with like abstract. So I appreciate this packaging so much. I love the colors, just luxurious, like luxury packaging. All right, so let me just go into the meaning of everything since she has it again, right on this card. Thank you, Sam. So the definition of arc means of relating to or derived from gold, her actual meaning, like how she described it. I don't think I can like take her words and make them mean as much as she made it mean so y'all go watch that video and come back or watch that video at the end whatever you want to do how you want to do it when you want to do it it's all up to you there the old saying gold is where you find it which means the value is determined by each person individually for us gold is found when we lift each other up and work together we believe in accepting encouraging and promoting all different versions of beauty that's how we grow and thrive artistically and creatively y'all being black and white i really really appreciate the fact she wants to include everybody being Big, small, black, white, purple, yellow. Like it just, it touches my heart because I don't speak on it much, but it bothers me. It bothers me a lot. So I was really appreciative that she like really wanted it to mean like pretty much togetherness and just being for everyone and not just having this certain image of beauty and it just being like, you know, that is what beauty is. If it's not that, it ain't beauty, you know? I really appreciate that. So let's just get into the eyes. Um, I'm gonna talk about each product, you know, as we talk about it so it don't be a long video for me to edit. I'm gonna cut some steps out that don't have nothing to do with art beauty, but I'm gonna tell you what I did use. My eyebrows, I use Kybra pomade and dark brown and I carved it out with the Kylie concealer and my foundation on the top because we don't want no, no brow halo. But for priming, I am taking my P. Louise base shade rumor two because I want to give these eyes a fair chance. And you see, I already have one eye done. It's because I don't, I just drop everything. I don't want to, I don't want to, where's my brush? Where is it? I can't never freaking not lose something. There it is. I didn't honestly, I honestly didn't want to, you know, just first impressions it because I wanted to figure out how I to like play with the product and like work on it and all the steps I took, you know, it worked. So I'm ready to show y'all how I applied it to my eyes. That's why I don't, I don't really like to do first impressions too much because it could be a great product and then it just does, it doesn't apply a certain way. And then it could look like a crappy product because everybody's skin is different and everything like that. So I wanted to play around. And plus I don't like doing this eye on camera because it's really awkward angle. But anyways, that's why I did that eye. And then I'm just going to take some of the Nabla Secret Palette and I'm taking this shade right here. Ebly, I think. Yeah, Ebly. I'm probably saying it wrong and popping in my crease. This is the only other eyeshadow I used. Um, she did suggest that she likes some of these. Let me see, I asked her what's her favorite eyeshadow palettes. She likes to use, I know the Pat McGrath Midnight Sun, which I did have, but I got rid of it. Sam, you know why? It was, it, it felt, it was, it was 
pretty, pretty, pretty relieving. But her, some of her favorite palettes are like the ColourPop Robbie D. Christie, which I really want that palette. Like I really want it. The Pat McGrath Midnight Sun and the Natasha Denona Biba palette. So that is some of her favorite palettes. I was trying to see what her favorite palettes was so I can use them in my video with her eyeshadows. But you know, the one I did have, it is not in my household anymore. I went, I wanted to use the Ego one, but I was like, I'm wearing like, you know, orange, I mean, yellow colors. I don't know my colors, I guess. I'm wearing yellow, and then they're gonna go with my outfit, so. Today's my little brother's 16th birthday. Happy birthday, Shavon. Even though you don't watch my videos, happy birthday, Shavon. I can't believe you're 16. He's the baby. I'm the oldest. My baby is 16. Y'all making me feel old. When I swatched these for my Instagram story, I wanted to play in them so bad. I had to wait until today because of work, because I had someone visiting me. I just wanted to play and not care about life. They were so freaking gorgeous. Like, I was shook. So I'm talking about these. These are the Smoke Reflex Cream and Powder Eyeshadow Duos. Um, I am obsessed with Defiant. It's the most perfect bronze. And you right, it is not orange at all. I cannot stand when a bronze is orange because it's not bronze. I really, I do really feel like the Topi bronze is like the real bronze, you know? So with these, it says on the box, there's a twist off upper tier to reveal an ultra pigmented metallic cream eyeshadow and open the lip to find a light enhancing shimmery powder with a mirror, which I appreciate these mirrors. They're pretty clear too. Is there a sticky thing on it? Oh, there's a sticky thing on it. Oh, these mirrors are pretty good quality too. I was actually using this when I did my eye the first time. So is this the color I'm using? And my only issue, you know, I have nails. I have very long nails. And literally I have to like go like this to take it off or use some tweezers, but I'd be scared I'm gonna poke it if I use tweezers because I'm clumsy. So I don't, I I just wish like, you know, the little handles, something. I mean, I get it. The, the packaging is super cute, but um, I'd be sitting here for like five minutes trying to take this thing off because I just be so freaking clumsy. Like I'm scared to put tweezers to this thing. I don't even know, oh, there we go. Got it. And that gorgeous, like this, this color is so pretty. Like I'm so obsessed. So I took it, I tried it with my Sigma cream color brush, but I didn't really like, like it was kind of like, it was easy to blend out, but I want to try it with my finger with you guys. So I will see how one, this one applies with fingers because I got to, you know? So we are about to just take that. It's so, it's so pretty. It's like, it's not like, it's a little bit moussey, but not too moussey to where it like clumps in like different areas. You know what I'm saying? I can't look at it like this. Like I literally, I need to go back to bed and restart. So basically I'm just popping in on my eye. Oh yeah, I do like how these apply with my finger better. They come out a little bit more thinner and easier to spread out and blend. Okay. Yes, ma'am. The finger is where it's at because I felt like it was a little bit too caked up on the brush because I couldn't really control how much was placed where, like I can my finger and my finger, the heat from my finger is actually melting this into my skin. And it looks, Sam, 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 Sam. I'm in love, I am in love. I hope these wear really well throughout the day because I am absolutely in love. And I'm gonna be taking the shade Temper and um, that gray one you see in the, that gray one, the grayish smoky one you see is Ego. And that one, I want my mom to use that one because she has piercing blue eyes and she needs to use that one. I told her she needs to use it, but she's obsessed with Defiance too because she liked the bronzes. I'm taking Ego, Temper, I'm taking Temper. I really want to use Ego so bad. And I am going to get a mirror, Michaela, And I am going to put down the inner part just for to be able to use two, honestly. There ain't no reason why I just wanted to use, but I just wanted to use both of them. This is her rose gold color, and I really love that this rose gold doesn't lean too peachy pink, because honestly, people be calling rose gold any anything. This is a true rose gold. Like, this is a true bronze, and this is a true rose gold, period. The inner shadows, you know, the little metallic shimmery amazingness and I am going to pop that on top of my eye. So this one will go in the inner part where this is temper and it will go where I put temper. Ooh, I really like these better with my finger too. On the other side I use my wet brush. Y'all see how it's much more like, oh 
gonna have to do that over here. And I was kind of scared because I have dog bite scars in this eye. And I was like, this is gonna look real textured, but it really doesn't. It's just like the prettiest reflect ever. And now we're gonna take the Defiant color and pop that over that bronze color. This is so effortless and I knew Sam is like, she wanted it to be easy. So I knew that this was gonna be an easy product to apply, get blended and just like call it a day. I pretty much would be done if I wasn't talking to you guys. So I can see myself using these for an everyday makeup look all the time. I'm gonna get these caps mixed up. But you guys, this is so pretty. And then another thing that I did is I used the Defiance color and I put that shadow on my brow bone. So I wanted to see how it looked and you know, you can't never go wrong with a brow bone highlight. So that is what I did. So I just popped it right here and it doesn't show any texture. It just gives a nice, you know, shimmery effect. There's not really any fallout at all, which is appreciated. I'm going to apply some eyeliner and some primer and I'll be right back. Don't go nowhere. Okay, so I just applied the Kyliner, liquid Kyliner in shade brown. It didn't skip or anything. The shadows didn't make it not perform like it usually does. So we all good there. I'm applying my Urban Decay All Nighter because I'm kind of nervous because this is a luminator and I have oily skin. But my skin's pretty dry on my chin, but I'm using a matte foundation. I need to take this pimple sticker off. You see how much came out of that? That is so disgusting, y'all. I'm so sorry. I had to see that. Peace out pours out, I think is what it's called. I'm not sure, I'll list it down below, but these things, I just cut them into little, little like, you know, strips and I get all that stuff out. I've only had it on there for maybe an hour and it's like literally gone. I was probably wondering what that was the whole time. I'm sorry, I didn't tell y'all sooner. I just didn't want to think about it. So I'm applying the Urban Decay All Nighter for the gripping. I really like how this grips. And then I'm gonna be doing the Perfecting Fleur Mercier Primer on my T-zone. Okay, and while that sets in, I'm going to be talking about the Glow Lust. This is not a foundation, y'all. It can be used alone. I mean, all over your face if you want like, you know, you know, glow which I can see my sister using this all over her face by herself. I'm actually going to um, take the, I'm finna go to my grandma's house or wherever she's at whenever I'm finished with this. And I'm going to take the, the gold stone one because she's darker skin. And I'm actually gonna see how it does on her cheekbones. I'm gonna, I'll get it all on camera. I'm gonna do a wear test today. I got y'all, I got y'all. I'm gonna do it on my iPhone so you really don't see all the beauty lights in the, in the, in the, all of this, you know? We finna be up close and personal today, which I'm scared because my skin, cystic acne is horrible. Okay, so about this packaging, it is beautiful. Like you got the gold drips. It's very heavy, luxurious, but this cap, I, she warned us about the cap, but this cap do not come off. I even had my mom take it off and she was like, oh, that's not gonna spill. <laughs> I was like, hey, but Sam said, I hope y'all appreciate this pump. And honestly, I do because of the fact that you only, you have so much control over this. Like if you want a whole pump, you can do a whole pump. You can even do like quarter pumps. Like I was testing this out when I was doing my swatches for my Instagram story. I was like, mm. but it's so smooth. And I really, I really honestly like it. Thank you for a good pump, Sam. Thank you for a good cap. She wanted y'all to be able to use the whole product. So yeah, but I'm more about this because I haven't told you what Glow Lust is yet. It is a radiant luminizer. It is $45. The smoke reflex are $39 and there's three shades so far. This comes in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven shades. I don't know why I couldn't register that. It comes from, it, um, it goes light cool beige, light warm beige, medium olive, which is what I have in my hand. I have medium warm, which is over there. Medium deep warm, which is over there. And deep neutral and deep neutral cool. I appreciate these shades. I feel like. I feel like this is my perfect shade. I think UPS just dropped something off. Oh yeah, you hear my dog barking. UPS definitely dropped something off. But um, I'm gonna mix this into my foundation. I am gonna be using, cause I really know that this lasts all day, you know? This is the LA Girl Pro Matte HD Longwear Matte Foundation. One second, please. Stop it! It is a package from Polish Choice, anti-wave. This color, like I always have an issue with it being too yellow or too pink never a true olive this is a gorgeous shade i really like it this is a shade i think it's pyrite y'all know i suck at 
pronouncing stuff, but this is shade Pyrite and I'm going to be mixing it into my foundation today because we stepping out of our comfort zone today. So we're going to do it. We just going to do it, you know? So I hate doing this. I hate doing stuff on my hands, but I'm taking two pumps of that and one pump of Glow Lust and mixing that together. I feel like that TikTok trend right now. And I think that's why it's making me uncomfortable because I am not, that, that trend makes me so sick. Okay. I'm going to say something and this this foundation is a little thick and this luminizer really made it the perfect consistency. Like it's very creamy and smooth now. Hmm. I wonder how matte is gonna get because it is a mattifying. It's like one of my most mattifying foundations. That's why I actually grabbed it because I was like, ooh, hydrating, mattifying. You gotta balance it out today. So hopefully this makes it more of a natural finish. I don't know but we gonna test it out today. I really don't like foundation all over my hands, y'all. I'm so uncomfortable. Okay, so I'm gonna speed through blending it out. Okay, so the finish, I know, I don't know why my foundations do this, you know? Before they sit into my skin, they really reflect off the lights so bad. But I promise you guys, this foundation matches my skin color perfect. And do you see that glow? I know y'all see that glow. This foundation don't glow like that. Oh, my earrings are from Believer, by the way. Link it down below. They're a small business and they're so cute. Okay, so I'm just going to apply my concealer and talk about this. My found my skin looks like skin. Like this made it not be so cakey, leaning towards cakey, because it's not a cakey foundation, but it's like one of my favorites. But because it's matte, it leans kind of cakey. Look at that. Look at that glow. Okay, so I went ahead and finished my face because I was like, I got some places to go. So I have bronzer, setting powder. I use Laura Mercier Translucent Honey. Bronzer, Benefit Caramel Hula Blush. Kylie, Kylie Batty on the block, block lips, Kylie Cosmetics, ice, no, hot chai lip liner and birthday suit velvet lipstick or the highlighter, the illuminator. It's coming through a little bit, not much. And I went ahead and popped on Jim Joel Beauty mascara. I used the Screamin' Shockwave liner in my waterline to match the yellow on my shirt. And I went ahead and put a little bit of defiance on the lower lash line with the Nebula Secret Palette palette, that same Ghibli, Ghibli color. And I'm, 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 this look is coming together. I love how extra my eyeshadow is. Like, you see that? Like, just look at the reflect, period. But I'm gonna take some of this and see how it sets up on top of foundation and powder. I'm taking my sponge and I'm really gonna pounce it into my skin because I'm really nervous that it's gonna lift, but. Oh, ooh, it's not lifting my foundation, it's not caking up. Sam, don't tell me you done brought something new in my life because this glow, girl, this glow, and it looks so flawless. Oh my gosh, this literally took the cakiness that is my face right now because my skin is acting crazy. It made it like, do you, do you guys see that? I'm gonna pounce that out right here a little bit. And I'm gonna apply a little bit more blush because I feel like I always gotta reapply my blush because my blush, I, I'm a heavy blusher, y'all. Y'all, I have never fallen in love with a liquid highlighter before. I can't stop applying it, subscribers. People who haven't subscribed yet that are watching this and still need to subscribe. I am obsessed. I am completely obsessed. Sam, do you see this glow? I have not ever glowed like this before. Like this is gorgeous. Like I feel so pretty in these eyes. Y'all give Sam a round of applause because ooh, your girl feels really pretty right now. I know my hair needs to get done. She finna, my sister finna touch it up a little bit, but I am feeling this look. I'm feeling my skin. My skin looks amazing. I really like this foundation better with the powder. I mean, with the illuminizer inside of it. My mouth is definitely gonna cake up today because it's so freaking scabbed up and dry. I hate hormonal acne, bruh. But again, I just wanted to get on here and show you guys this 
luxurious, beautiful packaging. I am shook. I didn't think I was gonna like the illuminator this much alone, but look at that. How can you not? It looks so, and like, there's no cast. It's just like, bang, bang, you see that? When I turn my head, boom, again. Like, I have no words. I have absolutely no words. Sammy did that, period. Two products that I never really grabbed for. Two that I wouldn't buy off the shelf myself. I highly recommend you buy these. Like, I feel like it's well thought out. I feel like the formula is easy to use for everyday people, but also you can play around with it if you're more advanced in makeup. I feel like the luminizer, we gonna see about this wear test cause I am gonna wear test it. So we gonna see how it, you know, melts in and stuff. But first impression, this is fire. And my eyes have not been creasing. They do not, they have not creased, period. They have not creased one bit. So, and I have these eyeshadows all over my eyes. I have them in my brow bone, my inner corners, my lower lash line, my lids, everywhere. And I am shook. I feel like my sister is about to freak out when she sees these. So let's get ready. Let's finish some TikToks. Let's get on the road and let's get my sister's first impression. Okay, we're checking in. I'm currently at Chick-fil-A. Excuse me. It's been on for like an hour. And let me see up close in a mirror really quick. Um, I did have a mask on. I'm probably gonna blot my nose, honestly, cause my nose is, it feels really shiny. But my cheeks look bomb. And my eyes definitely look bomb. Don't mind the mascara everywhere. Y'all know how it be. But um, let me open the sunroof so May can get some sun. So you can see what it looks like in the sun. I'm struggling. I can't, oh, right here. Okay, so here is it in the sun, very glowy. It did not dry down, of course, luminous, but um, it looked pretty good. So I'm finna get my sister's reaction and let her try out the product. Okay, Nisa, what do my cheeks and my eyes look like? Evaluate, can you even see that far? Mm -hmm. Oh. Hmm. Do you like it? Yes, I do. Kylie. No, this is art by Sam. Eyes do? Yeah. She did eyeshadows. Dang. <laughs> They're like, it's a cream and then a powder. And then she did the luminizers. She's freaking pretty. Right? You like the she's eyes? She's freaking pretty, yes. Mm. After I eat, we gonna, um, Experiment. Put that the the luminizer on you, the dark one. Uh, oh my goodness! <laughs> she she put she left the cap like that on purpose. So just put it on your cheekbones. What? There's no shimmer. No. It's just wetness. Like scrumptious wetness. Mocha said hi. Hi. Oh. I have no sunlight, the whole ride just turned on. Oh, fucking glow, glow, glow. Oh, that looks pretty. Oh, girl. I don't like that. Isn't it different? Yes, it is very different. Yeah. It's like really subtle. It's pretty. But it's like wet glow. Okay, so I did blot a little bit because my nose is super oily. Don't mind my little pimple right there. But, um, I don't know what time it is. I think it's like four or five hours in and we're good. It feels like really comfortable, honestly. It made the foundation like really, really wearable. Like it's not cakey, it didn't like harden because it's matte, so. Okay, so this is after like, I think eight hours. Um, the dryness around my chin isn't as bad as it usually is. My lipstick, you know, I had cake and ice cream, but it looks pretty good. It looks like skin. My nose looks okay. I think it is a 10 out of 10 in my eyes. So pretty. But yeah, if you try this or if you're going to buy it, let me know down below. And let me know what your favorite product is from the line. And yeah, I'm gonna take a shower because I don't really feel good. I have too much sugar. So, see you in my next video.